What is up guys? It is Jack here and today's video I thought I would teach you guys or try and teach you guys how to play Search and Destroy if you're basically a solo player. What I like to do is play solo Search and Destroy an awful lot. So I picked up a few good tips on the way, hopefully we'll be able to help you guys out if you like playing Search and Destroy. If you've got a teammate, then this works as exactly the same as it would with a teammate, but when you've got a teammate you can help each other out and it's a lot easier. But I don't often have a teammate to play with, so hintedy hint hint, if anyone wants to play Search and Destroy with me who's on a UK connection, then uh, leave me a comment and I'll more than happily play Search and Destroy with you because I can play it all day, I just love playing Search and Destroy, it's such a fun way of playing. So. Quickly I'll talk about my class setup, I'm just using an M8 with Rapid Fire and ELO Sight, that's all I'm using. I'm using, uh, as a secondary, I believe I'm using uh, the M1911 or the 1911 it's called in this game. Uh, that's a pretty good weapon, really really like that weapon. And uh, yeah, so I'm using a stun grenade as well, or concussion grenade as it's called on this game. Only because I had a spare slot, I didn't really, didn't really have any use for it. I don't think I used it really in this game. And I'm also using um, Fast Hands, Afterburner, Blast Suppressor, and Awareness. Now, when it comes to Blast Suppressor and Awareness, what you want to be running 100% of the time is uh, Dead Silence. But I don't have Dead Silence, so I have to use Blast Suppressor and Awareness. But... Right, so we are in round one. It is four five to them on teams. Uh, so let's talk about what's going on. So I know that there's two people in this bunker area because a teammate's gone on, gone in there, died, and also yeah, they're throwing grenades at me. So I need to make sure that I don't get any hit markers hit on me right now, and you'll see in a minute why. So they chucked a grenade and a concussion grenade. So I now know that they think it's empty. So someone's going to push out. Either one of them are going to push out. It's two versus four, and this guy pushes out. Easy right. kill. Two versus three. Okay, so I'm going to back off now because I'm not using a suppressor, and they're in a team of three, so they're going to be calling me out, and they're going to be telling people where they where I am. So you can't stick in one in one spot for too long. This guy over here, I don't know what happened here. Somehow did not get the kill on me. Had an easy free kill dismissed. And then what I did there, you'll, you'll see, is eventually, uh, as soon as I got the kill, I swapped to where I was looking at. So I decided to look at a different lane because their odds are they're not going to come two from the same place, especially if they're in a party as well. They're going to be calling me out and they're going to hit me from like different lanes and stuff. So what you want to do, and you'll see I do this a couple of times in this game as well, is I'll get a kill and immediately move, like instantly move, because someone's going to push me from another direction if they're in a party. And uh, yeah, because they can call each other out. So first round one, we won. Uh, we went three, three and zero first round. So second round we're on defensive. Um, this isn't a great round. Teammates kind of like fall really bad all over the place. So one thing I'm also doing as well is also making sure that I know what's happening on the mini map. I can tell where my teammates are, especially, but obviously where the enemies are. Uh, so I kind of know now that I've got one guy watching my bunker flank. So on the left of the minimap, you can see him, he's over there, that's cool. Uh, on the right side of the minimap, I've got people in the house. So the odds are I'm not going to get flanked from behind. It's very unlikely that I'm going to get flanked from behind. But I see there, on the minimap, my teammate at back house dies, and then my teammate at front house dies. So now, my, in my, in my, um, my thought process is I'm going to get flanked from behind if someone pushes it, so I need to move, so I can't stay in that position. So I need to move, go back. And uh, yeah, so two v four, not a great position to be in. I see an enemy there. I think I see two enemies here. One more guy here, but I'm not in a position to shoot basically because they're gonna know where I am immediately. And a four man rush, I'm not gonna get that kill. I'm not gonna get it. So they plant A. One thing people like to do when they plant A is go run behind that car like straight away. Um, so no one does that. So I know no one's going there, but they are gonna be down there. So there's no point of pushing it there. So I need to go inside, check the. Um, check the corners to get a kill there one guy is down there i know that there's going to be a couple of people down here so i need to be careful we'll get a hit marker use the glitch and now i'm back upstairs now i'll get two guys down here unfortunately they both they're both quite smart and they both went to, went and moved behind a bomb which was a, which was a good play by them four versus one with bomb down odds are you're probably not going to get the, not going to get the win so we got two kills didn't get the round win unfortunately used glitch as well i think i'd have died if i didn't use glitch so it was kind of pointless, but at the same time, at least I gave myself a chance. And then in that situation, the KRM versus the M8 at that range, you're not winning it. So 1v1, one one, uh, one all, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, didn't get the round win. So 
Let's go into round three. We are attacking. Normally, it's easier to defend. If you if you if you and your teammates know what you're doing, you should be able to defend every time. So I see Bomb Carrier's gone up there. He's in a bit of a pickle here. He gets killed. So immediately, I get one hell of a headshot on that dude. And then somehow, I don't finish off this other guy. So I know he's close, and there's no point in me pushing it like straight head on. And I kind of lose track where this guy is. So I think, oh, I've got to back off. I can hear him shooting as well. And he jumps across. There's no point of challenging that. I might as well back up and uh, just wait. So I back up, reload my gun, and then just check my angles again. We're in a bit of a sticky situation. Two versus four once again. But if I stick here, he's going to push me. There we go. Check the other area. Check the other lines of sight. And uh, there's the other guy. Just as I said earlier, you just need to check every lines of sight. Because as soon as you get, as soon as you put a shot off... Um, you're going to um, you're going to give your position away, so they're going to know where you are. So you need to be aware that they're going to know where you are. So two versus one now. Teammate gets killed there by a KRM. Now what I do here is I know that the guy has got a KRM, and if he notices me when I try when I fail this uh, this jump, it didn't auto mantle for some reason. I thought it would. Instead of jumping up, I decided to jump back because if he did know I was there and he was watching that um, that window, then he's going to kill me again with the KRM and I'm going to die two rounds in a row to a KRM, which is not what I want. It's not what anyone wants. It's not fun for anybody. So round four, we are 2-1 up. We are defending. This is kind of a really slow round. Um, a lot of the gunfights happen in places where I'm not. So... I just have to play safe and smart. I know there's two guys to my left, two guys to my right, and one guy behind me. So I'm not going to get flanked from either way. I can just protect B-bomb. So we get one kill there with the sniper. Good good job. Good job, whoever's on my team there. Good job. Uh, and then I just need to just watch mid because I've got two left, I've got two right, and one behind me. So I'm pretty I'm pretty cushy. I'm pretty, pretty cool. So one kill uh, gets... So they, they, they get two kills in a row. Which loses one. I think it kills both house. So I now know that now know that they're in house. So I don't have to kind of like the problem is now I can get flanked from the right when I was down at B bomb. So I just need to chill and uh, and just watch and just make sure I don't get outplayed or flanked or outgunned or anything like that. If I'm sitting on a head glitch, it's probably not going to happen. If I've got the M8 and I'm quite far away, if someone outguns me, then fair enough, I've I've failed. So two versus three. And uh, I just need to chill. I don't need to do much, really. Make sure no one's flanking me. Make sure no one is is going to kill me too quickly. Two versus two, teammate got a kill. Good job, teammate. And uh, yeah, I just need to make sure that I'm 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 safe. Make sure that I'm safe. So teammate has now moved away from the bunker area, so I I'm, can potentially get flanked from there. So I need to keep an eye on that as well. But I need to keep an eye out the front as well. So teammate gets another kill. He he has a good round this round. He gets a good round. I'm gonna gonna give it to him. He has a good round. So I check my corners. Get a free 50 points from uh, from hitting that, and I think teammate cleans it up just about now. Good job, teammate, with the KVK. So, no kills that round, but we didn't lose the round. So you know that's, that's that's the most important part is to make sure that we don't lose the round. Brecky is like a tampon. Every pussy uses it. See, I like this Mata 01 guy. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. He's going eight and two. I'm going nine and one, and we're doing pretty well. So, the, the round winning round, I've got the uh, HXD and I'm going to use it straight, straight from the break because the last few rounds where we've been attacking, I've noticed that they're going to bunker a lot. So, what I do with this HXD is just check corners and I know that there's a teammate behind me as well. So, I can see in there, using, using my, my corners, that there are uh, enemies in there. And also, as soon as teammate pushed it, that created a distraction. The enemies are going to shoot at the teammate without knowing that there's a HXD coming as well, or without being too aware and being able to shoot it really, really quickly. And enemy gets fucked up. That's basically it, guys. So hopefully I did a good job of kind of giving you some advice on, on how to play Search and Destroy. Uh, we ended up going 11-1, and 1, I think. So 11-1 is a pretty good, pretty good KD, 11 KD. Um, I could have got that one round win, but it's not the end of the world. We did get a, did get a death, and it was a kind of fair death, to be honest. But, oh, well, I thought the gameplay was pretty good. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed the whole video, yeah. So, to recap, really, is just, if you're playing solo, then play safe. And you don't need to push too much. You don't need to do too much. You just need to do smart you need to play smart you don't need to do smart it's not a natural thing that's not a real it's not a real sentence you need to play smart 
And yeah, and eventually you'll get better and you'll start learning about head glitches and different places to sit where you can watch the bomb. And hopefully you'll get better. But if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed the video, then smash the like button on it. That'd be awesome. Subscribe if you're brand new. That is a 10 minute long video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me a comment if you did enjoy it. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.